Asante. Principal KMTC. Umuinue kutoka hatua hadi nyingine. Tuwaomba ee buwana. Kwamba umuepushe na hatari nyingi katika uli. Thank you very much. The principles of the schools that are principles we are in flagging of the buses. Ah, yeah. Manishi ni the end of life. Some of you leo mnafamu ende mtaku na wambia si trips. Wakati wale ambao meperform vizuri, mnaeza enda kule kuwa, eh, kuwa, kuwa mkaeze expose, mkaende kule eche. Na pia ikaeze kupatia pia na fast walimu ambao wanaweza kuwa pia wamefanya vizuri uh, wanaweza kwenda katika kisumu wapi katika hali ya kuwa expose na kuona at least pia kujibrudisha kidogo kwa sababu ya good performance na ndio sababu nilikuwa nasema kila mahali, kila mahali ya kwamba tunataka tukue na buses kwa sababu wewe kupata buses moja kwa shule watakuhitaji kuwa na karibu 70,000. So hiyo imekuwa very expensive to our local schools. Ndiyo nimesema lazima shule zipate zipate hizo buses. Na hii imefanyika kwa sababu tulikuwa na ile process ambayo nilianza na nikapush mheshimiwa ambaye alikuwa na mheshimiwa pia akaanza hiyo process. Lakini mimi nikasema wakati nilikuwa mbunge hii safari lazima nimalize. Na leo tumeleta buses tano na kuna shule ambazo azijapata lakini nataka niwashiwe ya kwamba in every financial year tutakuwa tunanua buses tano kwenda mbele sasa zile shule ambazo azijapata kuna kama Mahwale kuna Lubinu Girls kuna kule Gaimba kuna zile shule kama kule Mahola kuna shule kama eh, Eluche kuna shule kama kama Bubole eh, kuna shule mingi kote kote ambazo zijapata i'll make sure kwamba mmepata zile buses zenu ili ya kwamba mkuwe kama wenzenu alafu kwa sababu hayo yote yanafanyika kwa sababu ya bursaries leo nataka nshukuru wananchi watu wa mumias east constituency kwa sababu mumias east constituency imekuwa among the 35 constituencies in the entire country ambazo zimekuwa za kwanza kuleta ile komiti na ikaletwa katika bunge ikapitishwa sasa Mumias East Constituency iko na komiti members wa CDF na mimi tuko na ule mswada ambao iko katika bunge mimi nataka niwashue ya kwamba tuna make sure ya kwamba CDF lazima irudi na ikuwe katika constitution ya Kenya ili ya kwamba watu wakaendelee wanafunzi na kila mtu akaendelee ku benefit through that na tunasema mimi tunataka niunge wale wabunge tumesema ya kwamba atuta discuss any business in the national assembly unless the, the treasury release ile pesa ili ya kwamba watoto wetu wapate basari na maendeleo ikuje katika constituency level sasa tunaungana na wale wabunge na tunaambia treasury ya kwamba na pia na senate na pia the, 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 the county governments ambazo ziko hapa the council of, of governors ya kwamba wale civil organization ambazo zinatumia nafasi ya kwenda ku, ku ama kuleta kuleta siasa katika mambo ya CDF CDF imesaidia sana na hayo yote ambayo mnaona ni courtesy of CDF saa hizi wanafunzi wa, wazazi wengi wanaumia na wengi wanateseka kwa sababu hatuna bursaries So tumesema ya kwamba if pesa haitatolewa na National Treasury tumesema kama bunge atuta discuss any any business in the National Assembly unless they release that money. Kwa watu wangu hapa pia tunataka niseme kwa na, kwa na serikali kuu ya kwamba hapa tuko na ile kitu inaitwa rural electrification rare. Na mimi naona watu wetu washianda hapa tumekuwa na street lights ambazo zimezimwa uh, pale makunga hazifanyi pale mwitoti hazifanyi kuna ile yenye iko uh, kule bubole haifanyi na kule ya, ya shikulu nimeongea na wala watu ambao wa Kenya Power na kuanzia kesho mtaona stima ikiaka pashianda ikiaka kule kila mahali itakuwa inahaka kwa sababu sasa mimi ndio mbunge wenu na lazima nijue na ni ile tu kwa sababu tumekuwa na accident somewhere ambayo ime affect eh, mambo ya electricity across lakini kuanzia kesho kama itakuwa imeundwa mtaona hayo maneno so mimi naunga pia ile mswada ambayo mwezi, uh, LSK wamesema ya kwamba tukue na ile equal representation hapa kama kapa kakamega atujapata NPS 
Asa sisi pia tunasema tunaunga umkuta hiyo eh, mswada wa kwamba president akaweze kuequalize mambo ya, ya PS na ya kazi za 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 za, za hizo za CS, ya PS ambazo ziko ambazo tulikuwa tumeanza vetting lakini tukasimamishwa. So kwa hivyo watu wa media mnaweza muangalia hapo yenye tumesema mwende mkareport. Haya tuendelee sasa sasa mnaweza end. Would like to see Peter Salasia grow and become a greater legislator than Dr. Halwale. Please mulee huyu kijana. Na mukimulea pia mujue yeye anatoka kwa chama changa sana. He is the youngest MP from the youngest party in the Republic of Kenya. Ndugu Musalia handed over ANC. Alipeana kwa Isa Timami Mpwani. Yeye ametoka siasa sasa. Anaenda kuwa waziri. Weta ametoka anaenda kuwa kule kwa senate kwa, kwa, kwa bunge mimi wa malo nimekuwa waziri nimerudi kwa siasa sasa vindu vichenjanga <laughs> i wish my brothers well wakienda kufanya kazi kwa ile serikali ya Kenya kwanza mimi narudi nyumbani tuanze kujipanga naomba mtushike mkono mshike kijana wetu pike mkono mshike chama chetu mkono tutembee pamoja Leo nataka niambie president wa Los Angeles of Kenya ndugu yangu Theuri we are very proud to be lawyers we are very proud as Kenyans of the law society of Kenya for you to challenge an injustice ninyi kusimama na kusema no to tribalism to say no to, to the skewed appointments to top officers in our country sio kitu rais Mwisho tukiona haya kifanyika ilikuwa wakati wa nyayo. Wakati wa Paul Mwite akipambana na udiktata. The law society has restored its glory. We wish you well. Fight for Kenyans, fight for justice. Protect the constitution and the rule of law as you are mandated by the law society of Kenya.